Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> here we go, you guys. <laughs> you guys, how's it going out there, man? Hopefully your holiday is going good. Hopefully you ain't got no coronavirus or any bullshit like that. But I got a different video today for you. Um, <laughs> I'm so fucking jazzed about this shit. Um, yo, so Logan Paul is fighting Floyd Mayweather in a fucking boxing match, bro. Oh my god, this is amazing, man. This is this is amazing. I knew that there would be more boxing matches, but I didn't think there'd be a boxing match like this, bro. I really did not. Um, and I'm just I'm jazzed because I missed, you know. The other kind of big, big hype boxing matches. I missed the ones with uh, KSI. I missed the first one. Uh, wasn't quite hip to the game and missed the second one as well. So I missed like the good, good. But at the same time, at the same time, it's like if I was like outside of the movie theater and like grabbing popcorn or going to the bathroom or whatever, and I like I came back in, like this is the best scene of this fucking movie, right? It's the Floyd. Mayweather Logan Paul boxing match, bro. Like that's easily the best scene of his whole boxing career. Like this will be the best boxer you ever fight, Logan, ever. So, so you know, it's, it's time to show up. Like fuck the other matches. Like this is the one that fucking matters. And nah, man, I'm just jazzed, dude. Like I really am. Uh, the you know, it's just it's just one of those situations, and I feel like the biggest. I'm hearing people talk about it and they're totally right. Like it's the biggest uh, upset. Like if, if Logan Paul wins, it will be the biggest upset in sports history, period, period, period. Like Michael Phelps swimming against someone who learned how to swim and like race and swim uh, like a few years ago. <laughs> and imagine the amateur beating Michael Phelps. Like what the fuck? What? 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 You know how decorated he is? Same fucking same concept, same concept. I think something that adds a little bit of drama and a little bit of uh, intrigue to the whole situation is these aren't two people who are physically like on the same level, you know? Like obviously Floyd Mayweather at the top of his class, expert in his field, but he's in, a, he's in the lightest weight class, I believe, or one of the lightest ones. Agile, nimble, definitely. You know, Logan Paul, He's a big dude, man. <laughs> like, what is he? He's like 6'2", like 210, I want to say. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I remember having to like, <clears throat> it's just giving me flashbacks to uh, the people who I'd have to wrestle in high school because I was a dumbass and I wrestled the uh, 189 weight class. That was like a comfortable weight for me. Uh, I did not cut weight like an idiot. And that's the weight class I wrestled. <laughs> and I just remember every fucking wrestling match, I'd have to come in and, you know, it would be some 6'3", 6'4", <laughs> football player or some shit, right? And uh, just doing it in between, like, uh, football and uh, baseball season. And they'd cut to, like, 189, as low as they could go. <laughs> they'd be all fucking shredded. It was bullshit, bro. I was such an idiot. I should have cut down lower. Or I should have cut somewhat to go down to like, I don't know, 150, 160 maybe. But uh, it's whatever. It's done. Uh, but anyways, that's like, that's a big frame. That's a very large build. You know, and especially for boxing. So like, I don't think, you know, I think Logan Paul's only saving grace is one of those situations where it's not reasonable for him to expect to out smart or out strategize uh floyd mayweather like i don't think that's reasonable you know like that would just be stupid if you're going in there thinking you're gonna outsmart a billionaire boxer who's where he is purely because of his boxing ability <laughs> 50 victories in boxing you're not gonna outsmart him stamina wise you're not going to outlast him i have no problem confidently saying that you're not getting the conditioning that floyd mayweather has gotten <laughs> His conditioning has enabled him to be where he is in his career professionally. And I'm sorry, but there's no way you're getting close to that, especially in two months. So there's that. Um, so you're not going to outlast him stamina wise and you're not going to outsmart him in terms of strategy. Like Floyd Mayweather doesn't have a ton of knockouts, which means all of his victories have 
kind of happened because he's a strategist, he's a tactician. He's going to maximize his points against you, and he's going to minimize your points against him. That's what he's very, very, very good at, which makes him a very hard boxer to beat. That's kind of the lay of the land. But at the same time, the astute bunch of you, you'll notice that I didn't say that I don't think that Logan Paul can win. I do think that he can win, and I want him to win. It's a tremendous opportunity, and I feel like he has a shot. He has a shot. It's not the easiest shot, obviously, but he has a shot. And I feel like all of that kind of hinges on his ability to connect uh, with his with the stopping power behind his punches. Because the kid has some fucking force, bro. The kid's got force. Like, like, look at this shit. You can slap. <laughs> Really hurt. Oh my god, wow though. What's that 886? 888. The average of your of your five slaps is 868.4. With the right hand. left hand 823 like I don't know what units those are but still basically the same amount of force in each hand which means you know those look like all out from what I could see so those that's pretty much equally powerful in each hand you put that into a punch format and you're golden so you just have to work on your placement and so you really if you're trying to win I think you have to go for knockouts because there's no way you're gonna you're there's no way you're gonna outwit Floyd Mayweather and I think it would be stupid to anticipate trying to do that really stupid of you and that's kind of my my argument is that you put some of that force into uh, you know you really commit and you dedicate that force to a punch and you land it on Floyd Mayweather like bro you're gonna do some fucking damage and then similarly like look at this clip he won't stop staring at me bro all right ready mm -hmm. Hayden it's on you okay Roll in. open hands Oh, oh shit. Yo, catch him, catch him, catch him. Yo, roll him out. Wait, let's go on this one. Let's go on this way. Damn, bro. Damn, man. Dude, he slapped that dude's soul out of his out of his body, dude. It's gone. It was that was violent, dude. That was violent looking at that. But it happened nonetheless. Nonetheless, so he's able to bring force behind his punches and everything. So I'm saying, and my argument is that if he puts that type of uh, driving force into his punch and really connects, he can do some fucking damage. And you saw like what it did to that dude. And that's a big dude. That dude is like roughly his height. You know, he looked a good bit heavier, but it doesn't really matter because you're landing on the face. But still, if he's able to incapacitate somebody with a fucking slap, who's roughly his his size imagine what he can do to someone who's smaller right and he gets that good connect you know what i mean like yeah dude like it's not that far-fetched bro like <laughs> it's not that far-fetched man it's really not um it's perfectly possible perfectly possible you know he just has to work in that placement and he's got to commit but like i said you can't go six three minute long rounds throwing full force punches like <laughs> you know what you're gonna open yourself up for something at some point so it gets a little you know what i mean it gets a little squirrely trying to anticipate how you're gonna recuperate but at the same time he's shooting for the fucking stars literally so but anyways that's all i really wanted to talk about this video um it's just how stoked i am for the fight like it's on the it's on the 20th or whatever of february i'm gonna be fucking watching i just got my ticket uh, the other day bought that shit. I'm going to be watching that so I'm stoked. So this is uh, Logan Paul's Eminem. I don't know if you guys remember this. 90s kids will probably know about this. Um, but Eminem, you remember in 8 Mile or whatever, right? That movie where a autobiographical Andy also acted. He played the role of himself. Andy wrote like the theme song, which was also a fucking banger. Phenomenal phenomenal film this is logan paul's eminem moment bro 
Like this is it. Like there's, there's, you get one opportunity in life to sink or swim. This is everything. And it's like, bro, do you show up or not? Do you show up or not? You know, you got all the fanfare out of the way and all this other shit. It's like, do you show up or not? You know, this is the one moment in his life, that unequivocal moment that if you fucking show up, the rest of your life is made. And obviously, yes, I understand he's gone from, you know, who he was six or seven years ago to who he is today. And that's like a huge, huge accomplishment in and of itself. But I'm just saying, this is like, your magnum opus or something like this will be the greatest thing you ever do with your career just because of the the uh stakes like you'll never be this anticipated to lose in anything else you do you know what i mean because you'll you'll basically like prove yourself it's like it's insane bro um but at the same time he knew that he knew that he did not know that that's why he uh tried to get it all set up let's say logan wins and then let's say um mike tyson wants to fight like even if logan went to fight mike tyson again great boxer one of the goats for sure but mike tyson isn't exactly in his mid-20s anymore at the top of his his boxing uh performance or at the top of his career you know what i mean like he's 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 not 25 anymore logan is exactly 25 i think so it's just one of those things and then floyd mayweather obviously he's at the peak of his career right now so it's just one of those things just in terms of the context of their their careers but uh yeah man it's it's nuts dude like i'm rooting for logan paul for sure um i feel like everyone on youtube should be rooting for logan paul just because just because he can put the whole platform on his fucking back and carry us to victory you know i'm living vicariously through this person i hope he fucking wins um obviously he's not gonna see this shit but yo your boy cringe is rooting for you dude Fucking lay him the fuck out, bro. If you happen to like the video, go ahead, give it a like, comment, subscribe uh, for more videos like this. I try to post three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.